The relations between Christians and Muslims is often sour. I don't know why this is so. I'm really trying to seek information from people and maybe we try and get solutions. How will Christians and Muslims live together in harmony because we are all human beings, we found ourselves living in the world together. How will we live together in harmony despite the differences in faiths? And I have a friend who will talk to us, he will tell us his name and maybe what he does, a little bit about himself, and maybe we shed light on if Christians and Muslims can live together. Hi friend. Yes, hello. Uh, my name is Frank, mm -hmm. Frank Thuresen. Mm -hmm. Um, I am uh, a professor, uh, have lived in Eastern Africa, in Ethiopia for quite a few years. Yeah. Uh, and I am teaching both, uh, well, I'm teaching religions, mm -hmm. I'm teaching Islam, Islamic uh, religion, as well as uh, Christian theology. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I have some, some experience with, with uh, living and, uh, and working among Muslims, and I also have many Muslim friends. It's, it's, it's evident that Christians and Muslims do not relate very well because of the faiths. There's a boundary. Uh, what's your experience? What can you say about this? Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, in many areas, Christians and Muslims don't, uh, don't live kind of peacefully together. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it, has, uh, it, it often has to do with many different, uh, different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Uh, one thing is that uh, that we often have different people groups who have some kind of historical uh, tradi or some history of uh, of uh, anim uh, anim uh, yes. enmity yes. Uh, of enmity and 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 that they have developed in different uh, regards. The one ha has become Christian, the other has become Muslim, mm. and they kind of they they bring that uh, enmity with them mm. further on. Mm. Uh, and also, to some extent, you could say that. Um, Christianity and Islam are uh, kind of, they are religions with many similarities. Mm -hmm. And as such, uh, in, in, in th they could kind of become competing, mm -hmm. uh, competing religions in a way. Now, w which is the best thing that we can do? Because uh, there's some fear. If I move closer to a Muslim, maybe I'll be an outcast, or rather I'll be persecuted, I'll be killed, I'll be something of this sort, this enmity. How will we eliminate this, maybe? Well, I think, uh, I, I think basically the enmity can only be conquered by, by uh, establishing trust, mm. by living together, by fi finding uh, arenas where we, where we join each other. Uh, we can play together in a, in a football field. We can find arenas where we, where we go together, where we live our everyday lives together. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that basically you don't fear your friends. Mm -hmm. You don't fear your neighbors. You don't fear people you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and as long as we are able to, to kind of f find areas for building relationships, mm -hmm. then also the fear will diminish. Yeah, I, I, I think there is, a, as long as there is, as long as you can talk about, like, talk about Muslims or Christians as, as some kind of an, kind of a, an objective thing that doesn't, doesn't really relate to you, mm. then it is easy to, to kind of demonize and, and to, to fear. Mm. But as soon as it becomes, as, as soon as relationships are developed, mm. As soon as you invite uh, Muslims and Christians, can invite each other for, for to, to, to visit each other, mm. uh, and, and, and these relationships develop, then something, something happens, something changes. Sure. Uh, and, and as friendships develop, mm. then the, 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 the fear also uh, diminish. Maybe what is your experience? you teaching both uh, the, uh, Christians and Muslim students, maybe. Mm. What's your experience? keeping them together in a class, in a, in a lecture room, and then you're giving the lectures. What is your experience, especially with the Muslims mingling together with the Christians? Well, in, in, in my case, I would say that that has, that has not been a problem at all. Mm -hmm. 
it has uh, even when when I have been from a, from a, a scholarly point of view have been teaching about Islam uh, some of my Muslim students they chip in mm -hmm. they share their experiences they, they kind of uh, I would say that they give some color to the to the lectures sure. and it has been very very nice to have to have Muslim students together with Christians and 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 they are uh, they are friends mm. they are friendly mm. uh, and and I think that that is one of the things that that happens friendships develop interesting <laughs> now <coughs> to summarize what can you tell a Christian mm. Because maybe on a Christian background, the Christians tend to run away from the Muslims. What can you tell the Christians? One word or rather uh, in a sentence, what can you tell Christians? Can they relate well with the Muslims or something like that? Well, I would say that Muslims are human beings, mm. just as Christians are human beings. Uh, and we are first and foremost human beings. Mm. Uh, and you will find aggressive Muslims as you will find aggressive Christians. Mm. But, m but the majority of Muslims, just as the majority of Christians, are peaceful and, and, uh, and, uh, and peace-loving people. Mm. Uh, and to, it should be, I think it should be a, a duty for us as Christians to establish good relationships with everyone and, and also to, to have Muslim friends. Yeah. Thank you so much, Frank, and I wish you all the best as you lecture to the Muslims and Christians. Please plant this seed of brotherhood and togetherness, because this world then will become a better place to live. Thank you very much. You've heard it from a person who has experienced this. We can live together, and in a nutshell, one line that we can say, what he has said, if I can borrow a leaf from him, Muslims are human beings. Just the way Christians, we are human beings. Let's befriend one another. Let's not run away from one another. And this world indeed will become a better place to live. And God will be praised at the end of the day. Thank you for watching Hangout for Peace.